Yeah, wait. Hold up. What did you say tomorrow is? 2018. Guys, tomorrow is 2018. It's your dude, Computer MD of Gilbert here. And I know you probably thought, oh, wait, I, I was already done with this guy. He made his other video, uh, well, technically today, but yesterday. And he already uploaded his last video of 2017. Well, psych, I've got one more for you here. Um, because I thought this video was actually pretty important as well because I know when I started with web design I always found this very intriguing and interesting going into the new year so in this video I'm going to show you guys the top web design trends of 2018 now I've gone through done did, did a little research online did a little bit of my own knowledge with this um, and put together a list of the top seven that I personally thought would be considered up in that top range. Now, don't get me wrong, there are more than just seven top web design trends for 2018, but these are some of the main ones to definitely look out for and that you could implement or start implementing into your Wix website. So for those of you who don't know me real quick, I'm a Wix certified trainer, so that gives me the ability from Wix to teach people just like you using YouTube, different outlets, it's awesome. I love it. I'm also a Wix design expert. I'm in the Wix arena, um, so I'm part of their design experts program. And then lastly, most cool um, and fun is I own my own Wix web design agency uh, where I help people just like yourselves either finish their Wix websites, make additions, updates, or build their new website from scratch. So if you're interested in any of that, please let me know. But let's hop into the Wix web design trends. Not Wix, but web design trends. Of 2018 so first things first we're gonna start with SVG images this is a trend in of itself so right here on the screen is a cinema graph a cinema graph is becoming more and more popular now I'm gonna press preview and show you what a cinema graph is you can see right now it's just like well, wait a second this is just a blank image no when we press preview you'll see the clouds are moving so a cinema graph is a still image with parts of the image that are video it's a very cool feature uh, you can see here in Wix, and this is in Wix guys so if you're using Wix which I hope you are um, this is in Wix so this is a cinema cinema graph to change them we could go into change background video cinema graph and then the previews aren't popping up right now but we could change it to anything we want if we want fresh coffee well bam let's have some fresh coffee and it's just like this. Look at that. Fresh steam coming up off the coffee. Cinemagraphs are a huge trend. I said SVG images, so this encompasses yeah, your GIFs, um, your, your cinemagraphs. Um, those are your two main type of SVG images that you'll be seeing that are very popular. It's just nice because you can see this cinemagraph here. It, it adds a cool element to your website because it's not quite just a picture but it's also not a full-on video to the point that you have to focus and watch a video. It, it, it's just a nice combination of the two. So if you have the ability to start using this in your Wix website, please do, um, whether it's through you know your blog post, a page background, or however you want to go about adding them, start adding cinema graphs to your website. All right, next we're gonna move on to uh, some different trends here. And what I did was, uh, I went out online and got different websites to show you guys um, as examples for each trend that I show. Uh, so they're not all built on Wix. In fact, many of the ones I'm going to show uh, aren't Wix, but I didn't just want to focus on the Wix aspect of this. I wanted to show you some of Wix, and I wanted to give you trends that you could do in Wix, but I'm showing you all different websites that have already done this that aren't necessarily built within Wix but have done this trend already. So next thing is brighter colors. The second one is brighter colors. So if we come here, we can see the use of bright colors is much more prominent. And it started to you know, be prominent in 2017, but it's definitely going to carry into 2018. You can see the screen right here. These are some bright colors. Normal um, kind of older web design, but we're kind of your your blander colors, your blacks, your whites, your grays, your your uh, your maybe some reds. But now we're starting to use bright colors. Bright colors is something you can definitely start implementing 
Um, you can see just even vibrant text, vibrant colors here, um, vibrant colors here. You can just see all of these vibrant colors and it adds a nice feel, a nice vibe to your website. Um, this, this is a very well done website and you can see they really take advantage of that new bright color trend. So definitely, if you have the opportunity um, and you're not forcing this aspect of it, go ahead and start using some bright colors because it's starting to become a normal, um, appealing look to potential visitors and customers that enter your website. Now for our third one is increased animation. So if we go to increased animation, you're probably like, well, where's the animation on this page? Well, bam. I'm not clicking anything. This little folk symbol drags to the screen. You can see their whole menu and everything is done right in here. And you could come up and you could click on different menu items and bam, just like that. Beautiful animation. And then it's uh, popped up on the screen like this. But that had that whole opening screen. And you can see we were able to manually mess around with it through some animation. You see if we click a new page, it's a clean animation in between pages. The increased use of, anima increased use of animation is going to be a big factor for web design in 2018. There are plenty of animations that we could be using. Wix allows you to create some of these animations and Wix code now enables you to do even more on top of that, custom interactions and animations. There's a lot we can do. Pretty much anything can now be done in Wix. We're just working on that paid membership option. But other than that, guys, most things can be done. Uh, so this, I thought, was a good example of increased animation. For our fourth one, it's typography. So typography is the use of text in a very design-oriented manner. So we're going to go here, and we can see the use of typography is very prominent here. This 2017 is in a cool font. It's in a cool organized, like an organization kind of flow. Uh, the back text, a year in review looks good. You can see our text is sideways and we uh, vary the fonts a little bit, vary the colors. Um, th this website does a very good job with typography. Their big bubble looking uh, number letters are very cool. Um, it really captures your attention. It's prominent. We see different um, size fonts. We see different bolds. Um, we see different fonts throughout the entire website. We even see the use of vibrant colors in here too. I mean, you look at these things, bright colors um, and animations just like that. It's very cool. It, it's a very cool thing to look at. Um, so the use of typography you know, using text that stands out, that makes a difference, that captures your visitor's attention in that first seven to eight section, second attention span. You need bold, vibrant typography if you're going to go with that method. You, if you are just going to go with basic text right on your website, make sure you use it to capture their attention just like the website did here. For our fifth one, the evolution of AI. So I know this one sounds crazy, guys. But virtual reality, artificial intelligence, AI, artificial intelligence, the ability to speak into your website and search, or in this case, Google Home or Alexa, the Echo Dot, Echo Dot um, these new artificial intelligence designs and technologies are now enabling us to do you know, insane things online. And to be honest with you, 2018, don't be surprised when you start seeing um, people are able to voice search on your website to search for certain things or to search for um, certain products, anything like that, you're going to start seeing it. Now, Wix is still obviously catching up the times on that one because not even most regular websites, no matter what web design platform you have, have really started implementing that uh, voice to search on, on like a business website. Obviously, your Googles do that, um, your big name companies might have that voice to search but this is definitely going to be a new trend to look out for it's going to be very cool for some of some of you out there you may think it's kind of freaky um, because of how technology is moving forward but it, it's happening it's happening before your eyes so i just recommend moving along with it 
The next thing we have is mobile websites. The nailing of mobile websites. So I have an image for this one. Uh, you can see Hidden Valley. This isn't the, the best image, but it's okay. Um, Hidden Valley, these are all page breaks, by the way. These are separate images in between these lines here. And this is what it looks like on their mobile site. You can see it's got a good design. They fit the mobile page very well. And they still have a great looking website that does what they want it to do while fitting that mobile device. Mobile device and mobile websites are no longer just a, eh, okay, maybe I'll get to it type thing. Nope, nope, nope. If you're not nailing it on mobile, your business is going to struggle because your website is not going to be up to standards with everyone else. If your website is currently not even working on mobile the greatest, you've got an issue. If you don't have a good mobile design, you're, you're going to slowly see people start to wean off. Guys, the truth behind the matter is mobile searches are only increasing as desktop searches are decreasing slightly, but mobile searches are very rapidly increasing and that's the one note you need to make from that yes keep your desktop site looking beautiful because that's the bread and butter although mobile is very rapidly rising and you need to make sure your website looks just as good on your phone even though it's a much smaller screen a little less functionality you might have as it does on your desktop it's a necessity nowadays so please do yourself the favor and make sure you nail that. All right, guys. And then our final web design trend for 2018 that I have put together is interactive storytelling. Now, if you go on to a lot of different websites um, that talk about web design trends in 2018, you will see that this one is a popular trend. The thought of interactive storytelling. Uh, I did find this website uh, this this article I should say this interactive storytelling that I'm about to show you on one of those web design trend uh, Articles that I read and I thought this was an excellent way to demonstrate that interactive storytelling So CNN did a little piece on global warming and we can scroll down the page And it is an interactive storytelling as we scroll down you can see There we go <laughs> Apologize. I know that volumes there But We keep scrolling down know that volumes playing Sorry, I know the volume was playing But I wanted to show you guys how they're using interactive storytelling the videos behind the screen there text scrolling down the page a map here on um, pictures uh, this this little diagram showing the surface area of what's been melting in the in the um, in in, uh, in on the icebergs. My apologies, um, and, and w what it's looking like from year to year by scrolling down the page. And this is all interactive storytelling, guys. This is just CNN's little piece on global warming, and they did an excellent job of using that interactive storytelling to convey their message. But this is going to be a very popular. Thing you are going to start seeing when it comes to websites content is king online and the ability to convey your content in an interactive manner is definitely going to be one of the hottest features you will begin to see because the more people can convey content and the more they can interact or engage their audience with their content the more successful they're going to be. You need to do that same thing. So you need to research different interactive storytelling, come through, look at the CNN type website, and find ways to start implementing that interactive storytelling into your own websites. Guys, these are the top seven web design, trend, web design trends of 2017. I hope this video was able to help you guys out, give you a little insight into what this year is gonna look like as far as web design goes. Please drop me a like if it did help you out. Comment if you have any questions at all or if you have some web design trends of your own that you think we're going to see out there, please feel free to comment. Add on to my list. We're a community here. We're a family. Subscribe to me here on Computer MD of Gilbert. And then if you guys would like to learn more about me and my web design agency, my company, you could, could, come, you could come over to wixmywebsite.com where I have put together a uh, nice website for you guys. 
To learn even more about me, sign up for these weekly Wix tips and they will help you learn more about Wix and get some awesome tips and tricks that have already been helping thousands of people. Um, so I'm so happy to announce that 2017 was an excellent year uh, for Wix, my website. I'm proud to run this company. I love the family and the community I have created through it. And I only plan to expand and grow in 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a very happy and healthy 2018 as we head into it tomorrow. Enjoy your New Year's Eve tonight. Be safe out there. And I hope you all again have a very happy and healthy New Year's. Good luck in 2018. And my goal and my wish for all of you is that you're all prosperous this year and very healthy. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next year.